Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss about that deep learning in Google Earth Engine. How we can easily implement the CNN for land use and land cover classification. So we can also integrate with Google Earth Engine and TensorFlow using the Python Google Earth Engine API. And we can easily apply the different types of deep learning model such as cnn or other types of model we can easily apply and we can easily get the different types of analysis so today's session i will show you that how we can easily apply the convolution neural network and then further we can make the land use land cover classification map using google Earth engine platform so let's go just i will explain all of things one by one so i hope we can easily get this idea how we can easily apply the deep learning on google earth engine so let's go so just to simply open my code editor here i already write the code about that so now i will explain all of those things one by one so that i hope we can easily understand about that so in the google collab in this time we are using here in google collab have already installed some important python package but some package is not installed such as rasterio so rasterio is one kind of package this package is not installed so first of all i need to install the rasterio package so further i simply call the pip and put install then rasterio so this is my package name rasterio further it successfully install it in my system okay after that, I just simply import my some necessary library which I need, such as Art Engine library. I also need the TensorFlow. I also need the NumPy. I also need the Stellar model selection. I also need that PIL import image. Also need the import the Rasterio, and also import the Rasterio plot import show. Then I also need the matplotlib library.py plot as plt. Further, I also import the scalar matrix. We import the confusion matrix, accuracy score, and classification report. So this type of necessary library I simply import in my Google Colab. And now run the code, it's successfully done. Okay. So basically, art engine, e or TensorFlow, NumPy, scalar model selection. Also, uh, you can see about that uh, matplotlib library, scalar matrix. So this type of package already installed. Only Rasterio package is not installed. Okay. So for that, I simply install the Rasterio package first, and then import the Rasterio package. So now it will be work. But other package, except uh, Rasterio, other package is already installed in our Google Colab. So after doing these things, we are just simply uh, connecting with the Authenticate with our Google Earth Engine account as well as also initialize with our project. Further, we are simply import our study area. So just I simply import the study of Hacker City boundary. Then further filter our image collection. I take the surface reflectance imagery and then put this image, create the median composite. So I simply mentioned about my uh, prediction band which band I want to use in here for extracting the pixel value. So mainly creating my data set. Further, I simply import that training data. So this is my training data. It also come from the Google Earth Engine asset. So all of training sample, I simply store it in the asset tab. Further, I simply uh, call the, you can see e.feature collection and this may project and this project is stored at my training point, all of training point. Okay. After doing these things, we are just simply prepare the uh, training data set. So in this time, we are just make the sample and then we are also extract the feature and level. Okay, all of those level and also extract the sample. So, so for that, I simply create a dictionary here, you can see. So for before the dictionary, you just post at the DEF. So this is the keyword about the when you want to create any function. And then put the function variable name look like that. I put the three element image points and scale so in this time uh, i take a uh, variable samples and i call my element name image i put the sample regions and then i call that collection all of points a scale mainly 30 meter i just simply mention in here a scale equal to 30 and further the feature i extract the feature from the sample all of bands pixel value 
as well as also level so when i take the training point i already put the label for that urban build up water body all of things i already put the label data and further we create the label data set so this data set further we uh, convert the data to numpy array for tensorflow so for that i just create a, another function i put the function variable name is a to numpy and further we are just simply put here that uh, array and numpy array we convert it so further these things we are just applying in our model so then prepare the training data set about that look like that and further we are just um, spill the data set into test uh, x or train and y train x validation y validation simply spilled this data set and further we are also save the data for locally for inspection so uh, x train y train uh, y validation x validation so all of those things we simply extract from here further we create the cnn model using the tensorflow class so here you can see this is the cnn model about that so we are create all of uh, uh, input layer hidden layer we just put in here also put here the activation relu and activation we are also using the soft max to adjust the number of the class accordingly so all of those things and further we also use here the optimizer mainly adam optimizer and loss sparse categorical uh, correspondent property we also put and it's the matrix and further we put here this uh, fit this model with our x train and y train i put the epoch is the 10 and also set the validation data x validation and y validation further we uh, calculate the validation accuracy about that here we can get that 70 percent accuracy it not much good because uh, you try to when you want to deep learning model basically you need the uh, input lot of training sample okay, you need to import the lot of training sample then we also get the more better result but machine learning uh, small or um, low training sample is also work very well but when you want to apply the deep learning or cnn or other types of deep learning model then you need to input the lot of training sample then you also get the more better accuracy in this time i will take the not uh, big uh, training sample so that's why you can get this type of low accuracy but further when you can get this type of low accuracy you try to increase your training sample of each classes okay then you also get the more better result about that further this model is simply exported okay and also do that and then we just simply uh, call our uh, uh, satellite imagery mainly landsat 8 satellite imagery tip format and then connect with our model and further uh, we can see we load this model uh, this is our model i already saved this model in my uh, google drive so further this model i want to use and this model i want to use and predict with my image np or numpy image i simply predict these things further we can easily get uh, this type of things it also predicted and we can easily get this type of things here you can see here red color identify about that your build up then yellow is the identify about the barren land, green is the vegetation, and blue is the water body. But in this time, we are get not be much better accuracy because I take the very low number of training sample or training points. So that's why it look like that. But when you want to increase the training sample of each of each classes, then you also get the more better result. As well as you can also input the different types of external bands such as NDVI, NDWI, NDBI, SABI, or any other indices, then you also get the more better result about that. After that, things you also calculate this uh, area basically, how much area about that of each classes. You can also do it using the uh, um, this pie chart. You can also create this type of pie chart from here and also calculate the area from here. So, basically, this is the process for uh, connecting the TensorFlow and also connecting that uh, google earth engine and also calculate the apply the different types of model so further i also show you that more advanced model about that uh, deep learning machine learning using the google earth engine platform so just watch this type of tutorial so just keep in touch with my youtube channel then i hope you can easily get this and uh, any update information you can easily get from my whatsapp group also get from my telegram group or any other materials you can easily access from here okay so in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program so basically if you want you can also join our online training program and when you want to join my online training program you can get all of practice code for your practice as well as you can get all of uh you can get also lifetime teaching support so it's very important as a beginners when you want to learn the google Ads engine platform you face a lot of problem so that's why you need the continuous support so our registration is the open now and this class will be start from that uh, 14 june okay this live training class will be start from the 14 june 
and now uh, only a few seats are available to get the 50 percent discount so if you want to join this online training program from 14 june so as soon as possible simply uh, complete your registration and then join our upcoming best so for joining that you can simply contact in this whatsapp number and also contact with this email then you can get all of the information and book your seat so mainly we take the class for two days in, every week uh, friday and saturday and this is the each class we provide the three hours and this is the time about that and uh, also you can see about the course syllabus so mainly what you will learn uh, all of those things uh, course content you can see first day second day uh, third day fourth day fifth day sixth day and seventh day all of course content i already added in this uh, description also added in the video description simply check all of those things and when you want to join this online training program you can get some benefits such as you can get the course certificate you can get that all of materials mainly slide pdf also get the some reference book also get the practice code basically uh, regarding this online training program you can get all of practice code as well as you can also get the recorded class suppose if you miss any live training session then you can easily cover using the recorded class and you can also get the lifetime teaching support it's very important as a beginners because uh, when you uh, start the learning with Google Earth Engine or machine learning or deep learning anything, then you face a lot of problem. Okay, so that's why you need the continuous support uh, for smoothly learn all of those things. So that's why you're also providing that lifetime teaching support. So anyone student who don't have any knowledge about the Google Earth Engine or coding, they can easily learn. So after completing the total seven days online training program. When you face any problem or any confusion or any doubt, your code is not running. So all of time you can get the solution okay, freely. So if you want to join this online training program, you can simply contact in this WhatsApp number as well as also contact with this email. Then further book your seat and join our Google Classroom and also WhatsApp group. So today is no more. Thank you. Stay happy. Stay safe.